Well, it is tax day, which means you have until midnight tonight to file yours. Drew McCone joins us now. He is the chief deposit officer at CQ, which is State Employees Credit Union. I always like to throw that out there. Thank you for that. And he joins us this morning to talk about filing and uh, the taxes and things you should know about. Um, so, Drew, first off, thank you for being here. Thank you for having me. What a, to get us started with just the basics, what should people know when it gets, comes to fraud this time of year? Well, the, the first, the, the fraudsters are very sophisticated and, and they're relentless. Um, but you, you're the first line of defense against any fraud. So if, if you receive an email or a text that, that tries to create some kind of, uh, of, of a level of, of urgency, like mm -hmm. a reward or a penalty or, or even a, a threatening of, a, of an emergency situation, something that you don't expect to get. That should be your first clue that something is not right. Okay. And, and then look at the email domain. If, it, if they say they're from the IRS or they say they're from the, the, your financial institution, make sure that, that the, uh, the email address, the domain, is congruent with what they're telling you. Mm -hmm, right? mm -hmm. The other thing to look for is uh, misspelled words, poor grammar. Mm. Uh, a lot of these phishing operations are, are um, international, right? Okay. So, the, the, so just keep an eye out for that. It, it, if you're getting something legitimate from the IRS or from your financial institution, you, you should expect that the grammar and the spelling would be mm. correct, right? Exactly. And, and if you have any suspicion at all, do not open any attachments, do not click on any links that are provided. That's what they want you to do. And if you have any questions, reach out to your financial institution uh, directly and confirm the email. Uh, if they need information, uh, you, you can give it to them in a different way. Mm -hmm. but, uh, don't ever provide personal information. Uh, that your, your social security number, your login uh, credentials, uh, that's what they're trying to get. And so be, be very mindful of that when you're, when you're dealing with a text or, or an email that's not familiar to you. Mm -hmm. And why is it that fraud and phishing are so prevalent this time of year? They want to take advantage of times when you might be distracted. Mm -hmm. right? And during tax season, you can be distracted. But there's also a lot of money in motion. And, and they know that. You, if, if you're getting a tax return this time of year, there's a lot of money in motion. Um, it's, a, it's a good opportunity to, to, to try to get you, to trick you into providing your, your personal information. You also see this around the holidays, right, yeah. be, because of the, of the uh, distraction. You talked about not uh, giving them any information. Is there a time when you should or should not give any personal information, or uh, should you just make sure you log on to their site to give information rather than answering what somebody sends to you? Y yes. It, it, you, you should be very reluctant to provide any personal information um, in, in, a, in an email that's not familiar to you. If you, in your financial institution, you, they, sh they, use, they should have an app, right, that is theirs. Go on that app and provide that information. Don't do it via an email that you got or a text that you got um, that you didn't expect to get. Uh, you're, again, you're the first line of defense. Just be smart about what you do and, and identify these, these fraud attempts before they happen. And really quickly, what are some smart ways for people to prioritize using that refund money once it does come in? Yeah, so the, prioritize keeping it first, right? <laughs> so don't, don't uh, fall prey to, to, the, to the fraud. But then you, you can pay down debt. Uh, you can go on that vacation that you've been waiting to go on. You can make that purchase uh, that, that you've been waiting for the money. But the main thing is just make sure that it's your money. Mm -hmm. You keep it. Wow. And CQ. We like that CQ arena. Yeah. We can go find some shows to go down there. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so much. Thank you very much. Great information. Mm -hmm. Thank, Thank you. you.